Hello developers, hope you are doing well. In this video series, we will learn one of the mostly used UI component, Recycler View. Now first question is, why did we need to use a Recycler View in our project? When the number of items are dynamic, means you are not sure that how many items will be displayed in my screen. If it has one component, it has two, three or more component. In this situation, we use a UI component named Recycler View. If we open our app, you have noticed here that number of items are changed day by day. We are not sure that how many numbers will be displayed in the screen. Then which is the UI component used before coming to Recycler View? When Recycler View was not available, there is a UI component named List View. We will use List View over Recycler View if Recycler View is not available. So why we are not working on List View? As Recycler View is the modern UI component, it means that it has the advantages of List View in Recycler View, we have layouts of different types. Suppose if you want to render your UI on the basis of linear layout, then you can use its layout manager to linear. If you want to populate in, in the grid form, then you will set up its layout manager to grid. And if you want to its element to be rendered in disordered form, then you will use a staggered layout. Let's look how these layouts are. If I move to browser, this is simply a grid layout. Grid layout means it has more, num more number of columns than one. You have seen that there are three columns and multiple rows. This is simply a grid layout manager. Okay. If I move to this tab, this is a linear layout. Linear layout means it contains only one column. Now third UI component is staggered grid layout. This is a staggered grid layout. In this section, the elements are distorted. So if you notice that this content occupying more area, this is occupying less, this is occupying less area, and this is occupying a more layout. So you can use this layout with the help of single UI component and set its layout manager. Okay. Mostly used okay. to learn new topics. This is code path. If you want to check what are the various advantages of Recycler View, you can view here. Suppose. This, this website tells you what are the difference of Recycler View over List View. Okay, you can see here. What are the different components of Recycler View? You can say it's it has a layout manager, it has an adapter. You can use an item animator to render its element with animation. Suppose you want to display elements in pop-in fashion, then you can use item animator. What are the using? How can we use a recycler view? It is mentioned here how we can use a recycler view. It has created a whole sample example here. And one of the biggest advantage of recycler view is we can particularly notify individual element. Suppose you want to notify fifth index element, so you can use notify item change and pass the index. Same way as well for inserting, removing, and this is the common method which was also available in list view. Okay. There are lots of other things you can check this website. It contains lots of other uses of recycler view. You can also Google this website here. It covers almost all the topics in Android. So I recommend that you at least visit this website. Now we will see some of the more advantages of Recycler View. Suppose one of the biggest advantage of Recycler View is you can contain this list to be a heterogeneous. Then what does a heterogeneous means? It means that my elements will be vary. Suppose it may be of type text. It will be type of image, it may be type of video, means it can contain multiple view types. Suppose by this first box, it will be of text type and same my second box, it will be an image. And the third type is 
it will be a video okay so we will learn to genius list with the help of recycler view okay that much for this video if you like the video just subscribe to channel and to get the latest notification just press on bell icon